Let's solve one previous question of Q. This question was asked in GATE CS 2013, question number 44. Consider the following operation along with NQ and DQ operations on Q, where K is a global parameter. Then one function multi DQ is given. What is the worst case time complexity of a sequence of Q operations on an initially empty Q and four options are given? Initially Q is empty, then we will enqueue some elements in Q. Let 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let K equals to 3. So M will be 3, while Q is not empty. We did 5 enqueue and M greater than 0, 3 is greater than 0, DQ, Q. So we will delete 1. M will be M minus 1, now M is 2. Again we will run the while loop. Q is not empty, M is 2 to greater than 0, DQ will delete 2, then M will be M minus 1, it will be 1. Q is not empty, 1 is greater than 0, then again DQ, M will be M minus 1, now it's 0. Next time M equals to 0, so we will exit from the loop. Suppose K equals to 10 and we inserted 5 element in a Q, let 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now after 5 NQ, we are running 1 multi DQ. So M will be 10 while Q is not empty. 10 is greater than 0, we will DQ. Then M will be M minus 1, now it will be 9. Then again Q is not empty, M is greater than 0, we will DQ. M will be 8, again DQ, M will be 7, again DQ, M will be 6, again DQ, M will be 5. Now Q is empty so we'll exit from the loop. So in this case we run theta of n time. How many element we n q. When k value is greater than n we are running theta of n time. When k value is less than n multi dq run theta of k time. So in worst case multi dq run theta of n time. But in question, it's asking about sequence of Q operation and there are three Q operation, NQ, DQ and multi-DQ. Multi-DQ itself will run theta of N time or theta of K time based on whether K value is less than N or N value is less than K. But with multi-DQ, we have to do NQ and DQ. Initially, Q is empty. After that, we will NQ first. If Q is empty, we cannot DQ. So first, we will NQ. Then we can do DQ or multi-DQ. In single DQ, we will delete one element. In multi-DQ, we can delete K elements. Since Q is initially empty, so whatever the order like NQ, DQ, multi DQ, then DQ, then NQ, whatever is the order, there cannot be more number of DQ operation than NQ operation. And how many NQ we are doing? We are doing N NQ. So that's why in worst case running time will be theta of N. Suppose we did N NQ and one multi DQ. And suppose k is less than n, then it will be n plus k. Suppose k is greater than n, then n plus n. n plus n will be 2n, it's theta of n. Suppose we will do n n q, then n d q. So n plus n, it's 2n. Suppose we will do n n q, 1 multi d q. So running time is k, let k value is less than n and 2 dq so k plus 2 this k and 2 are some constant that's why theta of n anyway we are getting theta of n in any sequence we are doing nq dq and multi dq if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you